Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another seashore themed uh, watercolour tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a really simple method for painting waves breaking on a beach. So I've got my watercolour paper and it's already taped down to the table. I've got my little set of watercolours here, and there'll be a link in the description to the uh, every colour that's in the palette, but I'll share with you any particular colours that I'm using today. I've got my usual stuff for watercolour painting, I've got a couple of jars of water, a paper towel for drying my brush and collecting excess paint, and then today I want to be painting some white stuff, so some breaking waves, and I've got this bleed proof white which is really good so I'm going to use that, uh, but you could use a white pen uh, like one of these or something instead, it's entirely up to you, but you will need something that can paint or draw in white over the top of your watercolour painting. I'm going to start by taking the larger of my two brushes, this is a size 10 round brush, and I'm going to start uh, painting in the whole background, so that's step one. Um, so I'm, I want a gradient, um, so I want darker colours at the back and then kind of a beach scene at the front, so I want to kind of go from a dark greeny blue all the way through to a nice sandy colour. So I've got a couple of colours in my palette there that are dried out from the last painting I made, so let's just um, reactivate those. A little bit of water, and that's quite a nice dark blue. I can add a bit to that, so this colour here is in Danthrene blue, which is kind of a nice not dark like navy blue colour. That's pretty good. This colour here, let's activate that. So at the base of this colour is Thalo Turquoise, which is a lovely greeny, rich blue. And if I add a lot of pigment to that, I can get it nice and dark, but also I can kind of wash it out as well. If you don't have a colour like this, you can mix a blue and a yellow together and you'll get a kind of nice greeny blue. So there I've got a couple of blues, and then I want some colour for the sand. So I've got this colour here. Oh, Hang on, let's clean my brush properly. I do tend to contaminate colours a little bit, but that's okay. I've got this buff titanium. I've mixed a little bit of that thalo turquoise in it from my brush. Actually, I think it was on the pan already. Let's just clear that out and add it to the palette there. That's going to be okay because I do want a gradient and I'm going to want to, to go from the turquoise into the sandy colour, but I also want a kind of purer, warmer colour. So let's mix another little puddle here. Now I've cleaned that out a little bit. And that's pretty good as well, but I think I'd like it a little bit warmer even still. So I'm going to add in some quinacridone gold. And that's maybe a little yellow. So I can add in a little bit of either pink or red to that. So let's go with a tiny little bit of the magenta and I've got a nice kind of sandy colour there. If you don't have this buff titanium to start with, and most people won't, um, you can mix up um, some yellow and some red and get a nice kind of orangey colour. If it's too bright, add a tiniest little blue into it and it'll just dull it down. So I want to start a gradient at the top and work towards the bottom. So beaches can be any shape you like and you can kind of do this in any direction. I'm going to start with some of this blue. Just put a stripe of it along the top of my page and just start to bring it down. I want a bit more pigment in there and I want to add some of that greeny blue into it as well, blend it back and forwards and blend it out. A bit more water, let's get it to go a little further. And get a nice smooth blend and I can add in some stronger pigment in a few places. Let's get a bit more of that green in there. And 
And then around about here, I want to start bringing the beachy colour in. So I've got this colour that was just a little bit of a contaminated um, warm colour there. I can bring that in and then I can start transitioning towards my warm yellow. Mixing up a little bit more of that. Right. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's step one. So all I'm going to do now is leave this to dry completely. Okay, now this is completely dry, so I can start um, putting in my kind of second layer. And for the second layer, I want to define where the waves are going to be. So I'm going to use these same two colours again and maybe even mix them together a little bit this time. And I want to put in um, a few kind of wavy lines, wiggly lines across here. Um, so let's see, let's start with one, maybe about here. And that is defining the edge of a wave. So this I'm actually painting is the shadow in front of the wave. And I want maybe it to be a little bit more wiggly, something like that. And then I don't want it to be quite so sharp. I want it to kind of fade away a little bit. So I want one edge to be sharp, which is going to be the edge of the breaking wave. And then I want the other edge to be a little softer. So I've added a little bit more water to my brush. I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm going to blend that colour down, keep adding more water, more water, until I've kind of blended that out. Now somewhere below that line I can put in the next breaking wave line, maybe like that. Again, I can take a little bit more water on my brush and blend that line out. There we go. So one, two, and then let's put in a third one. And the third one is right breaking on the beach. So um, I need a much kind of skinnier line for this. So I'm really just using the very tip of my brush like that. And I'm going to clean off quite a bit of that colour and then blend out that bottom line. I also want to do a little bit deeper colour at the back so it's kind of dark and then it gets lighter as it comes down. So I'm kind of do, going to do the same with the top line as well. I don't have a line of a breaking wave there but I can put in a nice deep bluey green colour at the top and again, I can blend that forwards. Just being careful not to blend it right into that kind of sharp line there. Let's add a bit more blue into there. And while these lines are still a bit damp, we can go in and add a little bit more colour if we want them to be a bit deeper. Again, let's blend those lines out. Now this is all dry, I'm going to go in with my white paint and start painting those kind of foamy waves. So let's start at the back and I just start painting a nice kind of wiggly line right along the edge there. A bit more water, get a nice clean white bright line. So I've put in a few kind of wiggles that go a little bit further back and now I'm going to add to them just in a few places, 
putting in a few more little wiggles like this. And a kind of a forward curve might be a wave breaking, so that'll be whiter and darker. I mean, not darker, it'll have more white on it. Maybe more bits of foam. Just little wiggles like that. Okay, that's one. Now let's do the second one. Same thing, along that dark edge, I'm going to wiggle my brush around, wiggle wiggle, and then this might be a breaking wave here. Oh, well, I've gone a bit too far. Never mind. I can fix that a little bit. Or actually, maybe it doesn't matter. And then this one here, maybe this is a a breaking wave here too. More white on that bit. And then just a few in between. Maybe a few more wiggles back here, like here maybe. Like that. And then my third one, and I'm doing exactly the same. And for the third one, I might want my like, white wiggles to go a bit further back because as it, the wave approaches the beach, there's more foam and the wave's kind of broken onto the beach. So you'd see more of that. Um, those white highlights on it. And that's essentially it. You can finish it off with a little splatter of the white. I'm going to give this a go. Put this across my sand so I don't splatter the sand. And it was one big splodge in the middle. That's not great. Let's spread it out, make it look like it was intentional. So that's a really simple three-step process to painting waves breaking on a beach. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did then please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from me then please do subscribe to the channel. For those of you who've been following along for a while you'll know that I've been working through a whole season of shoreline themed projects and this is my final and eighth week. However I do have an extra video that I filmed, it's in the process of being edited and I will get it out to you at some point. It's a bit of an epic and I'm doing a watercolour paper test. I'm not quite sure when I'll be able to upload it but it'll be in the next few weeks. So apart from that video expect a couple of weeks break from me and then I'm going to be coming back in October with a brand new season of videos all themed around Christmas and the festive season. So there'll be ideas for watercolour Christmas cards, gift tags, ideas for presents for loved ones. So I really hope that you'll join me for that and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, bye-bye.